Rubber. Look at that latex. <laughs> That's a full bowl of rubber. How hard that is. We had a lot of rain last night too. So, but it's quite full. Look at that. It's just pure latex. Check it out. Nice and solid. Been there for a while. And the bananas uh, that I filmed here, what, three months ago? Here, look, look, how, look how high they are now. Yeah. Huge. Should be some pineapple trees in here. Uh, pineapple bushes in here too as well. Yeah, there's one there. Yeah, a butterfly. There's a pineapple. Looks like they've been picked. Oh, nothing. Oh, boy, you gotta watch those. These are razor sharp. Cut you really. I just brushed up on one, got a little cut. Yeah, it's all the rain we had. Just a torrent last night. It's nice. I love it when it rains at night. So it's cool. And the butterfly. There. They're all flitting around today. So hello all you YouTubers out there. You keeping it realers. Once again, I thank you all for subscribing to my channel. And uh, keep it forever growing. We'll hit that 1,000 mark and uh, go beyond. I'd love to get uh, the 1,000 mark. Tell anybody, tell your friends about the channel. Let's get the word out. Keep the word. Get the word. Because the word, bird is the word. <laughs> now today, is a, an exceptionally pretty hot day. So I'm just doing a little wonder some water uh, down to the beach. Well, this is a little interesting. The old rubber sap leaking out. They usually come by the rubber tappers and they'll make a slit into the bark to make it uh, run. And you can see, look at, look at this one. Look how long that run is. There's the latex there. Look at that. Dripping on the spout here and then into the, into the pot. That's a long one. It's unusual. Now, if you wonder what le this smells like, it smells like propolastics. Like you just opened a box of uh, Trojans. I mean, uh, opened up a Trojan. I don't know if they got any strawberry flavored. Wow, but look at, you know, I just saw that one. Look at this one. Whoa. That's, that's really weird. Look at that, that's all rubber. Wow. It's going all the way down to the bottom too. But I've never seen it uh, do that. I'm sure, well, I'm not picking them every day or uh, rubber planting every day, am I? Check that out. That's a nice piece of rubber right there. Interesting. I wonder what else we'll find in here. Well, I wonder what we got here lurking in the bushes. Who could it be? Could it be the beefaloes? Hey, beefaloes. Beefalo. Beefalo. Even they know it's a lot better to uh, get out of the sun. Hey, beefaloes. <laughs> a stray dog following me. Hey, look, we got the little baby cows here. Little baby buffaloes. Little baby beefaloes. Beefalo. Beefalo. Oh, you're chicken, huh? <laughs> Onward. Towards the ocean. The horns on that guy. I believe that's a really old one. Over and investigate here. 
You got a, whoa, you got a head of horns on you. I believe you're pretty old though. Wow, look at that rack. Look at the rack on you. Yeah. Well, that's a carabao. Buffalo, beefalo. Well, look at this. Isn't that pretty? This is Tom Krut. I'm on a sandbar. I'm so glad I brought brought some water. Man, it is hot. I'm also glad I brought these. Some mangoes off my tree. I have five mango trees in the mat, my backyard there. Look at that, the tide's coming in. There's Dog Point right over there. I call it Dog Point. And that mountain that you see there, and behind there is the Conrad. Look at that huge accumulonimbus uh, cloud. It's like a spaceship. Ever rising behind it over the mainland. Clouds, it always gets cloudy. This here is Kotan. And that there is Pig Island or Mudsum. But everybody's calling it Pig Island these days. And right in here, there's a temple on the other side of that, right on the top. And there's various resorts. They just built this one here the last couple of years. Yeah, slowly but surely it's all going. A couple of resorts in here, or nice uh, bars or restaurants. And then of course the Tongfoot area, right here. Beautiful, nice. And you take the boats from there to go to there or there now i am going to be going i keep saying and saying it and saying it it's driving me nuts but i do want to get over to Kotan and spend a couple of days there actually and go all the way around now they built a road and on the other side there's a cove that uh, i believe they're selling plots of land there now so it's uh this island's completely changed too in the last 20 years, it's amazing. So, um, yeah, eventually it's going to be, become settled. I guess I say that with a little bit of sadness. Nice, nice to keep things pristine, you know. I'm not too busy. Busy enough, but not too busy. What's your thoughts and comments on that? Do you agree? Everybody out there? Am I just being sentimental? Yes, we need to expand. We need, you know, we need growth and jobs and whatnot. That dog, she's heading back now. I guess she gave up on me. Smart doggy. Bloody hot out here. Lots of places for sale up here. There's lots of plots of land you can buy up there still. And you know, where, there, where one goes, soon there's more. There's about 40, 40 uh, houses up there now. And just in that area there alone. And another one there. I find everybody congregates. One person builds and then you've got neighbors, you know. What if you wanted to be by yourself? Solitude. So what do you think? Pretty nice, huh? Well, I think I'm gonna tuck her into one of these mangoes here. So, all right. Well, I couldn't resist. I had to show you what. There's a, just peeled that mango. Ate the other one, but no. Mm. Oh. They're so sweet and delicious. Mm, mm. <laughs> that is a tasty treat. A tasty treat. Look at that mango. Just a little guy. Mmm. Mmm. You just and all that mango juice. 
so yeah. Mm mm mm. Mm. That is truly delicious. Well, <laughs> I'm in this uh, pretty awesome water here, ocean, way out in the middle of it. Look at this. But this water is like being in a bathtub that's warm. It's like tipid, tipid tea. Like warm, warm cup of tea. My legs are hot. So it was nice to find deep water and cool off. Not gonna cool off in this. This here. You can just make out those two concrete. Well, they're not concrete. They're, they're built. They're built up of uh, bricks and mortar, and that used to be a pier a long time ago. I believe like 20 years, 30 years, 20 something plus years ago. And the fishermen on Cotan would unload their catch here, and then it would you know, be dispersed around the island. But that is the remnants of, of the only bridge, I mean a bridge, wharf to Koh Samui, I believe. I'm right? So it might go, it might predate that. And uh, where all this is here now, none of that was there. There was a, a resort here called Aloha. Aloha Blue Resort <laughs> and uh, when I got here that there was nothing left of that either it's just the uh, foundations and the uh, sign that said Aloha Resorts and there was some more in the back over here too so there were uh, there were uh, bungalows here but the jungle has taken them over now I just went in the water and it's still bloody hot I'm gonna go to the deep part over here. There's a channel I'm gonna swim in and it gets a little cold. It gets a little cool. Wow, well that's a game changer. Now I can get my camera wet. So there's Cocoa Beach there, and there's I Beach. Quite popular bars to come and hang out, beach bars. A lot of the uh, expats come out here. A lot of Nor, a lot of Norwegians here. They flood that place. I think a uh, cold place stayed in there. Stayed in there once for a week. I guess they looked at the stars. And wondered why everything was yellow. <laughs> Way in the back over there, you can make the mountains there. Panum. Yeah. If you keep going down that way, you'll end up in Singapore. Okay, my battery's pretty well toast, so. Yeah. I'm just checking out the new GoPro. Footage, slapping it together. I'm quite impressed with it so far. GoPro 9, wow, what a step up from 7. <laughs> Bloody night and day. But I gotta sell all my old gear, all the gear I bought for it. Still good. You can use them from 4 all the way up to 7, so probably even 3. Who's ever using those? I definitely get the upgrade 9 or 10, you know, probably be out with 11 next year. And the 10's even better than the 9, uh, the st stabilization on it I hear is good, and the night the nighttime filming is better on it too, so. Yeah! Alright, keeping it real in Thailand, once again, with Joe Blair. And I want to thank all you subscribers out there, I want to thank you all. Each and every one of you, thank you so much for subscribing. 
tell your friends and tell others and let's get this channel boosted let's get it up we passed a thousand let's go let's go all right well till the next one i'll uh i'll see you in the next one all right once again i thank you all for subscribing to my channel and uh keep it forever growing